Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls. Andy McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global and with Hasim the Rock Rahman, former world heavyweight champion of the two world. Time two time, sorry, my bad, that's my fault. Two time heavyweight champion of the world. How are you, sir? I'm great, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. But you must be great. You just seen Michael Hunter, uh, another winner under his belt against a tough opponent, the Sergey Kuzman. How do you rate his performance? I thought he did excellent. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a few things we're going we're gonna to tune that right up on. But I thought he did great against a level opposition. Um, a guy who beat Joe Joyce, who beat Herjavec. Um Mike, Mike, in my opinion, he won every round, at least 11 out of 12. And he, and he dropped him. This guy's never been dropped. So I'm, I'm super pleased with his performance. But we're going to go right back to work and get ready for um, the, next piece, the next person. So Before we talk about the next fight, I mean, I want to stay on this fight just now. I mean, Michael's a small heavyweight. He's only with 220. Was it 221 pounds that you came in at? Yeah, Do you think he, could he get? Could he put more weight to fill out a little bit more? He definitely he, can put some lean muscle on. So um, that's not an issue. And I think he can get stronger. That's not an issue. So that's what we plan on doing. Let's, let's talk about what's. Let's talk about what's next. Then I mean, I spoke to Eddie this morning. It looks like it might be Saudi Arabia on the Andy Ruiz Joshua card. This talk it might be. Pavetkin, I don't know what you know, but I don't. If you can't say anything, don't say anything. But uh, I mean, is somebody like Pavetkin? Is that somebody who you want next for Mike? I mean, Pavetkin's probably top five in the world at the moment. If you look at his resume, is that who you want to face? Well, I, I mean, I think Pavetkin is two tails of Pavetkin. It's Pavetkin, you know, um, pre PED and post PED. So if we fight the post PED. Uh, Pavetkin, I think we got a great shot. What about uh, fighting Saudi Arabia? Does that, are you excited about going out there? Oh, I would love to be in Saudi Arabia. I, I, I love it. I would love to go there and let Mike um, knock out Pavetkin in, in Saudi Arabia on the, uh, the, the Ruiz Joshua card. And I, I think the winner of that fight should get a shot at the title. Just how, like I said to Mike as well when I interviewed him, how many fights is he away? from facing one of the champions, either Wilder or Joshua Ruiz, whoever that may be. How many fights do you think he is from that? I mean, <clears throat> I think he's one fight away. This you next know, fight in Saudi Arabia? I think, yeah. I think um, the winner, obviously, if he beats Pavekin, after he beats Pavekin, then he's he's ready for the shot. Because if Pavekin beats Mike, they're going to be trying to get him a shot. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't why wouldn't the winner be, be um, eligible for a title shot? I definitely think Mike is right there with all these heavyweights. I see heavyweights that Mike has beaten, that Mike can beat, that Mike is way better than getting title shots. So um, we ain't looking for a title shot, we're looking for a title. Mm -hmm. I've I done a small clip on my phone with you at the, at the hotel. You had a message for the UK heavyweights, be that Joe Joyce, Chisora, and like we've got some up and comings, Daniel Dubois. I mean, are these guys that interest you for Mike? I mean, there are young contenders coming up, apart from Chisora, obviously, yeah, but yeah, would you much. come to the UK to fight these well, guys I don't Mike? understand. I don't know if y'all really understand American language like that. Oh, like, you do, yeah. We watch movies. But we will fuck every heavyweight up out of, out of um, England. Every last one of them. It don't matter. We will beat the shit out of them. Is that Clinton Joshua? Uh, especially Joshua. <laughs> but I mean... It depends on how Joshua fared against Andy Ruiz. Depending on whether he's really on our radar or not. That's what I was going to ask your opinion then. Looking at the rematch against Ruiz, Joshua, what's your, what's your thoughts on that? I believe Joshua can win if he box discipline. He has to box him and don't trade with him. If he trade with Andy, I think it's going to be the same result. What about, what about the, the heavyweight division right now? Who's your number one? Tyson Fury, Wilder, Joshua, Ruiz. I know Mike was there, but... When you look at the division right now, who do you believe is number one? Well, Michael aside. I mean, <clears throat> I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't rate number Mike number one even if he wasn't aside based on laws. Mm -hmm. So um, <clears throat> I would have to say it, it, it's kind of like a draw between um, Deontay and Fury. I really like to favor Fury, but I don't know how much Deontay took out of him. I can't really give you my clear number one until after um, I see the rematch. Everybody Deontay fight, he takes something out of him. And if they, and every rematch he fights, he, he destroys him because he finished pick up where he left off. So uh, 
I mean, I'm, I'm afraid that if he fight Fury again, he might knock him out in one or two rounds. How do you put, how do you maneuver Michael then, being that his coach and stuff? How do you maneuver Michael in the position? I mean, you you know yourself, boxing politics always gets in the way. So when it comes to like Saudi Arabia, Mike wins his fight. You know, there's going to be people calling for the winner to face Wilder or uh, Fury or whatnot. But how do you get Mike into that position? Well, that's why the good the good thing is you they, like, they, I they mean, got, you've got a, you can talk. So they got they got interim titles. They got regular titles. We just want a heavyweight title where we're mandated to fight to face the winner of of of, of these belts. We want a super title. We want. <laughs> We want we want a super a Polish hat. We want that's my Polish friend Martin. That's that's Mike's manager. So you know. So <laughs> don't fit. I got real big head. As you can but see. you got big arms, man. <laughs> you see that full? I, I sent my dad. My, my dad was a huge boxing fan back in the day, and obviously being he, he I, I sent him a photo of you. And I go, do you remember this guy on my right? He went, yeah, yeah man. He knocked Lennox Lewis the fuck out. Yeah. Back in the day, that was a huge upset. So my yeah. dad, my dad, uh, he said, look at the fucking size of his arms. I'm just saying, Michael Hunter is ready for any heavyweight in the world. Now we would we would like nothing more to um than to go and be perfecting and 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 validate our claim at the title. You sick has moved up to the heavyweight division. I mean, it seems like the smaller guys are starting to... Uh, you went the biggest heavyweight. You were six foot two, is that right? Six, and a half. And, and a half. Well, I'm, I'm five foot nine and a half too, so... Um, so you know we need our half. We, we need that half, yeah, 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 yeah definitely. <laughs> but uh, like, it seems like the, the smaller heavyweights are coming back again. Like Muhammad Ali was 63, right. Joe Frazier, yourself. Right. And then Mike, Michael Hunt is 60, you 60, he's not in the heavyweight division. But Andy Ruiz, 6'1". Right. I mean, is it the era for the smaller heavyweights now, or the big heavyweights? I'm, I'm not sure. There's still quite a few giants out there, too. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'm not sure. It's not, it's not cut and dry who's, whose era it is. But um, I know that these, these smaller guys, are giving these big guys fits right now. Mm -hmm. So, and I got a small guy that can give any heavy, any heavyweight on the planet fits. I mean, this wasn't, this wasn't, you know, we got it, we got it. This is like a 65, 70% of Michael Hunter, what you saw, you know, so we got 75, 80, 85, 90, and a hundred percent. We got plenty to build on. And even though, even in this fight, I still seen pockets where Mike could have stopped this guy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he dropped him. So. All this, all this, Mike, Mike, not a, a big puncher. Every every fight we we had together, he somebody been on, he knocked them out or they been on the canvas. So um, they're gonna stop thinking Michael Hunter can't punch. Do you believe the the bigger the name, the bigger the opponent, the better Michael Hunter will see? Oh yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Finally, before. Finally, before I let you go, I mean, uh, I've been pestering you for an interview all week, so I've got to thank you for this. Uh, I gave you my word. I you said, did I, give me your word, I man. said, you got, I got you. I, you got me definitely, and I appreciate it. Uh, I seen, but like, like uh, Michael Hunter, man, I mean, like, you said he, that was only 60%. Like, do you think with that 100% we, we can see, like, devastating knockouts with, with Michael? Because, like, you say, every time. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say something canvas, right here. I'm going to say something right here. Yeah, yeah. And you go. Don't 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 take this as a blasphemous comment, right? But I'm gonna tell you, and no disrespect for to these guys, but when when you see 100% of Michael Hunter, you are gonna see a cross between Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. That's what you are gonna see out of 100%. Uh, That's a bold Michael statement. Hunter. I'm telling you, I said it, and I'm gonna back it up, and Mike's gonna back it up. No, I'll, that's the perfect way to end it. Then I think. Well, I see him again. Thank you, my man, for doing this Five Talk TV, right, and I appreciate everything, my no man. Problem. Thank you very much. No problem. Opportunity arose for him to close the show, and he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, Paul.